What is up guys, it's your boy Archie from Trini Vlogs. Today we have another quick video about the JB4. So today we're going to show you guys how to connect the data cable to the JB4. It's pretty simple, so let's go. So this is a pretty simple procedure. I have a JB4 tuning box here along with the various connectors. The data cable actually connects to the inside of this on the other end of the chip. So if you flip the JB4 tuning box over here, you'd see these small, you'd see these four Allen key screw type things here. So you need an Allen key and you're just going to be removing these four screws holding the box together here. So we got our Allen key here, just find the appropriate size and just removing the four screws from the box. After slackening your four Allen keys, the case actually pops open pretty easily. And on this end, there's a little tab that comes out, as you can see here. This is the tab that fills the space here on this side of this would focus. Yeah. So. So there inside you can see the actual chip and the case in there. Quick look at the chip. Quick look at the chip here. So we have two connectors. This is the connector that goes to the connectors here that plugs into your car's connectors on this other side. We actually attach the data cable or the Bluetooth connector. So, guys, this is the actual data cable that you can purchase separately with the JB4. One end is a USB connector that goes into your laptop or your Android phone. If you're going to be using the JB4 mobile app, the other end is this connector. Looks like a VGA connector. That actually goes into this side of the JB4's board. So it's pretty simple, guys. Connector just plugs in like this. Goes all the way in. And there are two small screws that comes with the JB4 data cable. There are two small screws that comes with the JB4 data cable. So you're going to be using these two to secure the connector to the chipboard itself. Take your Philip head screwdriver. Nice and secure on one end. Do the same for the other end. is secure here that's pretty much it next is just to remount the chip into the case and screw the case back together and you're pretty much done so just make sure you line the board up correctly in the casing make sure it's lined up nicely so make sure on this end there's a little gap in the case here for the wire to come through. Just make sure the wire lines up nicely there. Board is nice and set. And 
a Nintendo remote your keys. So when doing this part, before screening anything, just make sure that the cable, that the case, sorry, sits nice and flush on both sides. Nice and flush, nothing obstructing the way. And then you can just tighten back the force. We have everything lined up nice and snug and we just proceed to tighten back for Alan. And that's it guys, that's quick and easy install of the BMS data cable on the JB4, so B46, B48 engine. And here yeah, the next step for the affiliate, we're going to be connecting it to an Android phone, so you need a USB cable in, and it's going to be connecting into an OTG connector, so this part connects to your phone. This USB part connects to the data cable like this and then you simply have this end plugging into your USB port on your phone. Yeah. So this part simply plugs into your micro USB port on your phone and you use it to get out the JP4 mobile app. And then you can see all your logs, do your data logs as well. Also change maps on the JB4 and have access to all the other features. So pretty cool guys. We'll show you all what that looks like in another video. That's all for now. See you guys.